Okay, this won't do. This aggression will not stand, man. Um, I made a recording earlier pondering on the topic of passion, uh, purpose, meaning, and I bored myself. <laughs> when one talks about passion and purpose and meaning, maybe there should be a little passion in the pondering. Um, what is your purpose? What is your passion? Can you have meaning without knowing what your purpose or passion is or passions or purposes and really getting after them? Um, if you know what your purpose or your passion is, what drives you, what motivates you, what intrinsically charges you up where you can just do it ad nauseum over and over all day long, um, cool. I don't know, haven't known, struggled my whole life with what is my passion? What is my purpose? Um, I, is that the same as what are we here for? And I don't think you can find or have meaning in your life without the passion or the purpose or at least fulfilling some of your obligations to yourself or the universe as to why am I here? What am I here to do? What where, how, who, questions, just how many of us find the answer or answers to that question. It takes a lot of looking in. I had to do that for a while. I've mentioned um, I missed a lot of things looking in, but I guess I had spent the first 32 years looking out, looking everywhere um, but in, and I arrived at such a confused state of myself that my life became unmanageable and out of my hands. Well, little wonder, I didn't know what was going on inside, not at the deepest levels that, I don't know, we are bottomless perhaps, but at very, very deep levels. How often do you sit with yourself and just be quiet and listen or ask questions and have dialogue or spend hundreds or thousands of hours devouring information about how the brain and the mind work, um, the body's response to certain methods of playing with how the brain and the mind work. Um, taking the time to look in and reflect and then start to manage and work what you find there. I find that there's not a lot of time living the way a lot of us live these days to attend to that regularly. So then it becomes a great amount of discipline. I mean... What is more important to you or should be more important to us than truly discovering what moves us, what we are the best at or what we are supposed to be doing based on how we're lined up uh, so that you can be of the most use to others and yourself? How good would your life be like if every step you took or at least every couple steps you took was with a method or a reason towards something that made you a better you or lined a little bit more always looking for what is next to increase me to make me better what is birth more than investing in yourself or building yourself or growing yourself how is it not going to pay off to your friends your family your career um anything that you think you're responsible for, if you are not putting the energy and intention at least somewhat often, daily, into yourself, well, I know what happens. We just tread water, or we flounder, or we sink, we drown. Um, it takes a lot of work. It takes effort, seemingly, to better ourselves. It's the same as exercising or working out. It's the same as running every day or going to the gym and doing a lot of calisthenics. <laughs> it's the same as taking a body from an unhealthy, 
unhappy or lesser state and making it into something more close to our potential or what we want to be or a better version of ourselves, a better, a better, a better version. What would your life be like if you did that day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year? Better yourself, better yourself. Your life or yourself would be unrecognizable by the end of that towards something of your choosing. What is more important than that? But it's so easy to forget. Um, I think my purpose, I think my passion is love. Being around it, involving with it. I think love is the most powerful force in the entire universe. It beats everything, and it really is behind and underneath everything if we care to look enough. And it's an inexhaustible power when you can manifest it or motivate it or channel it right to the right people. I mean, parents know this for their children, um, lovers for their lovers. <laughs> you know what love is, and you know how powerful it is. Um, there's many kinds of love. There's love for a partner or a parent or a sibling or a child. There's love for a friend. Um, and love can be more than just the word love. It can be support or helping. I feel the most powerful or the most motivated when I am helping another person with something that I have picked up or earned or gotten or whatever that has changed me and I can share that with somebody else and help them potentially change or I just and that's a kind of love that's what drives me and that provides my life with meaning now What's your passion? What's your mission statement? What is your purpose statement? If you could sum up the purpose of your life in one word, what would it be? Even in one sentence, can you say it in a sentence? And if you can't, you should spend some time figuring out what your purpose is in a sentence and then a word. And then move toward, there's a target, you set and step towards it. What would happen to your life? Ooh, I'm getting shivers thinking about it. So, what's more important than that? You make your own list. Happy Tuesday and out.